And we should be good. So how's it going? This is your MC coming to you with more Tales of Sisteria. Or should I say, The Last of Sisteria. <laughs> so last video, we just went through the entire area without fighting Bob Simon there. Now we're fighting the final boss. So let's see how this goes. ヘルダル。決着の時だ。苦しみと共に生きねばならぬ世界。すべてのものはこれからの解放を望んでいるのは明白。何故それにあらがう。どうしよう。確かに。お前の目指す世界では苦しみから逃れられるかもしれない。け
I got a new art, I just realized. But <laughs> それを行えば良いではないか。何か企んでるとは思ってたね。ただ人質にされてるより価値があるよ。これ相当を使うとは勝負を受ける。ああ、どうする。どうしよう。下段から。お前は。ガツは。攻撃力が高い。防御力。
How many times is she gonna die? Seriously. So many times that she died. わかってと言わない。私に任せて。どうせ。頼む。きっと何か。何か方法がある。自らの家族だけは失いたくない。大した覚悟だ。ふざけんな。おじいちゃんもミュウズって人も本当だったら犠牲になる必要なんてない。全
タムイによる最大の攻撃で打ち込んでください外さねえよ気分な時に撃て、いいな慎重かつ大胆、できるザクをとまかせてやってやろう、スレイスタッフ、消えそれどうもない何
Oh, this could probably be why. Uh, hmm. So close. Ah. Mm. Let's go with Savid first and then we'll work from there. Ketsi, Kaku, Smith, and Mudan. I'm not sure I'm a mighty one. No, Otagai, can I? Jeter, Koreman, and Koto, stay still good on you. そうだろ。ヘルダル。コップの足を固めるか。肩腹痛い。ヒューソリ。人の霊。マイチ。それ。僕が先ほど。その性質上4回切りだ。ハムイン許されたいの攻撃で打ち込んでください。外さねえよ
so much I, I'm gonna pause the video until I get past the second phase that way you guys don't have to rinse and repeat what I'm what you guys are saying so be back in a flash so but I made it to the second part I made it to the second part I'm so happy Oh, 
Oh my goodness, it's becoming exhausting.
Why does this have to be a fucking mechanic? I, when I unpause, I'm going to pause it here. The next time I unpause is going to be the final. Like the, the final final. I don't care who's in my party. The final final. I'm going to make this work. So I'm going to BRB. So. Right, it, it, it finished three. One more stage. Can we get this? Can we get this bread? Can we get this bread? Can we get this bread? I'll explain what I did and didn't do. Oh, come on. <laughs> I need to change my stuff. Give me a sec. Oh, 
My sword. Well, his sword. But my sword. Na 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 na. Oyo, nakama o uba wale ta fukushu o nashitoge ta na. Na. Saiyaku no jidai wa owaran. Ah, oh, I can't move backwards. Ne, 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 シャンク。ミ、ミ、ミ、ミ、ミ、ミ、ミ、ミ、ミ、ミ、ミ、ミ、ミ、ミ、ミ、ミ、ミ、ミ、ミ、ミ、ミ、ミ、ミ、ミ
Oh, the village. Won't be the same. Muse. Get a muse or. Uh... Hmm. That guy. That Norman. Never got the girl. Never got the girl. <laughs> wow. Hey, well, we did it. We finally finished Tales of Zesteria. I never thought I'd see the day when I finished this game. Little did I know. So here's the problem. I was looking up guide. The reason why it took so long, I mean, for me, it took like at least two hours to figure it out. Um, I think it was like the third time of, of the pause, or the second time when I paused, when I mentioned that I'll unpause once we get to like the last bit. The reason why it took me so long is because I didn't realize the, the battle action half and half I didn't realize that I, the description says inflicted pain. I didn't realize it also meant I inflict the pain, so my damage was half. So that means all of those times I struggled was just bare luck. Actually, everything up to this point, to this fight, I've had it on. So that's why I think if anyone have seen my past videos anyone who has watched me struggle at any point after I turn it on it's because I turn it on I didn't realize I should have known and believe me I turned that on and I was playing the second hardest difficulty before I move or oh, not second maybe like moderate and then I moved down and now I move it down more so that's why I was able to do this easily this was on simple mode and I didn't realize half and half was the main issue why I couldn't deal enough damage to certain enemies. No wonder I kept feeling weak and weak and weak. I could have actually done more damage. Oh no, I know I can do more damage. I didn't realize my damage was half. So, uh, but regardless of me messing up on that part, I still don't like the idea that this mechanic exists. So, anyone that's played Monster Hunter Iceborne at this point... Uh, Electrion has a very, very similar... Actually, it has the same mechanic, except the pressure is on when there's a timer. And the pressure is also on when you do it either yourself or with other players. Because you have the same mechanic, you have to, you have to pass a threshold in order for you to, I guess, in a sense, progress uh, of its life, in a sense. So, there, I, I'll say this right now, maybe if I turn off half and half, maybe I wouldn't have struggled as much or took in this long. I think by the time I recorded this video, it was like 1 o'clock, 12 o'clock. It's 4. 
It's four at the moment right now. It took me three to four hours to even figure out how to beat the freaking boss. And I hate it. I hated it. I hate the mechanic. It's not that it was like the the toughest boss of the ball. It was just basically that that uh, that threshold that I hated. I hated the fact that that exists and that that's how you have to progress through the game or at least finish the game. You know, uh, Symphonia didn't have something like that. Like they have maybe like two, three bosses you have to fight like back almost back to back. But at least it was doable. You know, it wasn't like hard where like, oh man, like I got to mix up some things. I got to make sure all the characters are doing some damage and such. Ah. You know, Basaria, even Basaria didn't have this much issue. The last boss, it was like, I mean, it was tough, but it wasn't like this. You know, there are ways around it. Here, there is no ways around it because most of your damage dealing does come from the fusion. I kind of hate that I, that idea that you have to rely on that more so than relying on each of your characters like independent skills. So for me, I feel like that's kind of something I love about Berseria where it didn't rely on that. Everyone was able to use um, the Mystic Arts. Everyone was able to like defend for themselves. Everyone had like their own unique capabilities. Here it's kind of like I mean, again, maybe because I have half and half on, that's why they never use the Mystic Arts. I'll say this right now. They never use the Mystic Art. I think I went through the entire game without ever using any of my companion's Mystic Art. Maybe my own? Asoi? Maybe Miklio? Maybe uh, Rose? Maybe Alicia? But that's about it. And I kind of hate the idea that because I have half an half on, that's why they weren't able to gain the BG high enough. So, honestly, I'll say this right now: I'm I'm actually surprised I made it I made it this far with the uh, with the half and half. Like, again, I'm surprised. So, uh, I I guess in a sense, what do I think of the game overall? Uh it dragged on. The story dragged on. Oh, there we go. I'm not done yet. <laughs> I ne I'm never done. The new shepherd, basically. But then that didn't say Sore. It says Nomen. Am I... Did I read that correctly? Hmm. I, I guess I would have to... I guess I have to Wikipedia that. Um, but anyways. Uh, just to finish off my thoughts. The story kind of dragged on when it shouldn't drag on. There were moments where I kind of wish it was like Basaria where it's like, get to the point, get to the point, get to the point. No, instead it's like, hey, we need to, hey, let's go check up on these people over here. And then they talk and then there's something more and then it's kind of like optional stuff. And it's like the, this back and forth. And I hate the fact that even though Basaria didn't have like a fast travel, fast travel, they have they have a ship travel. That's about it. Here there's, there is a fast travel. But I hate the idea that they implemented like a story progression halt on fast travel. Meaning you can't fast travel at certain point within the story for story related reasons. Some of those story related reasons are just BS. I'm just, I'll just say that right now. They're, they're just BS. Um, it, it was not meant to be <laughs> like that at all. So, um, but I mean, again, it's whatever. Uh, I felt like the world was too, it was needlessly big. It was too big for what it was. I felt like Basaria did it better when they, everything that 
everything bad I'm saying now essentially became something that Viseria kind of worked on and maybe improved upon. So certain areas that kind of like too big, you know, like I don't want like a 1080p screen and travel all that 1080p. I want that 720p or even lower, you know, something to that extent I want something to that because if you're going to add like a big area, have it so that it feels not empty, not like a barren wasteland. Make it feel like it's alive. Make it feel like this stuff you can do as well. So that's something I want. I wanted in Basaria, and it happens. Tales of Arise, hopefully that happens too. This one, I kind of figure what's going to happen. Hopefully the volume is loud. <laughs> oh, he got hotter. He got hot. This is cool. I do like the idea that Seraph's do like age but just slowly Drop the hand. <laughs> ah, that's cool. Dusk of the Shepherd. Not gonna lie, without this mod, I would never have played this game. <laughs> Same. Hey, look at that. Legendary Seraphic Art Key. Key for reawakening Seraph Art. Congratulations, you finished the game. Um, I think the, there we go. So Tales of Sisteria, wow. And yeah, so. So yeah, uh, 2015, not too bad. Seven, six years later, here I am. <laughs> uh, now I bought this game, uh, I think last year and I haven't, really finished the game. I really haven't touched the game as much. Again, second hardest difficulty with half and half on. I'm impressed that I even got this far. Or well, at least until up to the point where I had to change the difficulty, which you'll see in the... I think I mentioned on the, in the previous videos. But yeah, anyways, that is going to be it. This video will be out on the day Tales of Arise will come out in Japan, which is the 9th of September. Today is the 8th, so tomorrow this video will come out. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hopefully you guys enjoy the playthrough. Again, I have done Sephonia before. I've I have a playthrough of Sephonia on YouTube. You can check that out. I have played Basaria. I'm not sure if my friend uploaded the things yet, but I have finished Basaria on stream, co-stream. But I haven't uploaded the vods, and unfortunately, I don't think I plan to. But if I do like a solo play, probably that'll be when basically. So. Again, I like the Tell series. I do think they there's some pros and cons and such. So, yeah. So, what else is to say other than we can finally get into the gameplay of Legendaria and Abyss at a later point. So, Abyss is something that I will upload on YouTube. So, you can keep that in mind. It is a single player, but I'm actually going to be doing a co-play. So I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side gameplay with my friend. So, that will be on a Sunday. 
So every Sunday from now on, so I think, uh, what was it? So starting on the 12th on the September, September 12th, keep that in mind, I will have stream and upload, hopefully upload videos of Tales of Arise. And I already know what character to pick. Don't tell me what to do. Uh, but hopefully you guys also buy Tales of Arise if you enjoy the Tales series. It is going to be a fun game. It is going to be on PS5, so it's going to look cleaner than this, basically. So yeah. So with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video of any other series I will be doing. Maybe I'll come back to certain games that I haven't finished yet. Who knows? Anyways, I'll see you guys later. This is your MC coming to you. Bye-bye.